that day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast on July 24, 2022, a memorial ceremony was held in a community of Shaiton, Dazerg, for 52 executed in Montluk prison. In Stepanaker, the renovation of an apartment building is nearly completed. State Department Press Secretary of Baku statements The snow accumulated on Mount Arad melted from hot weather. Mistress landscapes of Nunzur Valley, National Park, Shushi Shadow Theater, Ahnizor, and Peace. The deported people of Artsakh start from zero states. Culture in Western Armenia carpet making. In the summer of 1944, in Morinan province of the spring of McQueen's, at a gradual liberation of French territory, the ring was compressed from the German stationed in Lyon and Klaus Barbie organized the massacre on Montluc prisoners. In June-August 1944, 635 prisoners of Montluc were executed. On July 19, 1944, 51 prisoners were delivered from Montluc prison without luggage, which meant that they had to be executed. They were bundled into two vans and taken into the village upon the dory, where they were shot. Sources report that 52 executed were shot with machine guns. They were finally killed by smashing their heads with either pistol bullets or machine guns fragments. Finding some bodies in terrible conditions prevented in identification. On a site of the massacre on October 7, 1945, a memorial monument was opened, around which, as every year, this year under the patronage of Mayor's Office of Chaldeon de Azerges and a committee of remembrance of France in the presence of Department Advisor Jean Jean Sproon, representative of the Department of Remembrance of French, Jean-Luc Francois, a memorial ceremony was held for the community. Jean-Luc Francois, representative of the Departmental Committees of Memory of French, General Philippe Laflotte, with the participation of Vice President of Association of Armenian Veterans and Resistance Fighter with the Minister of Foreign Affairs Republic of Western Armenia, Lydia Marcosian, and the units of flagship of Lyon and its district. Resistance soldiers and hostage in Montluc prison had different origins, and among them was an Armenian, Jean Berbat and member of FII, international French troops, who have decided to distribute leaflets for the liberation of France for the German occupiers. On May 25th, he was arrested in a gospel during the blockade in Vienna and taken to Motluk prison. The name of Jean Barbatian is included in a list of the heroes of Western Armenia, who survived or were descendants of the survivors of the genocide of Armenia that died in the name of France. The repair of an apartment building of Azad Amartik Neri 36 in Stepanakert continues at the expense of the state budget. The Ministry of Urban Development of Artsakh reports work is underway on exterior decoration and installation of windows. The construction is carried out by Raf Elite LLC. It should be recalled that during the last war and list by Azerbaijan, indigenous Armenians living in Artsakh suffered both human and material damage on their land. The U.S. Secretary of State, as well as other American officials at all levels, continue to work with Armenia and Azerbaijan, continuing to offer support to the American side in the name of long-term and comprehensive peace. According to Armen Press, the Speaker of U.S. State Department, Ned Price, said at a briefing that journalists reminded him that Secretary of State Antony Blinken recently had telephone conversation with Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Azerbaijan President Ilyam Aliyev, confirming the readiness of the parties to contribute to the process. He asked if this means that previous similar proposal by the U.S. State Department had been rejected, to which Price replied, no, it's not like that. This means that we have been able to achieve some progress and through constant contact and diplomatic negotiations with our Armenian and Azerbaijan colleagues, we believe that we can continue this process. To the journalist remark that unlike the State Department, which in its statement constantly mentions the form of the OSC Minsk Group co-chairmanship and a mediation body in the process of solving the problem, the Azerbaijan president spoils it every day. Price Price replied, in our statements we clearly stated that the United States is ready to support these two countries and like money partners in any format or format that will be effective. We have been co-chairs of the Minsk Group since 1994, but as we have already shown, we also want to be involved with countries in a bilateral format to help Armenia and Azerbaijan find a long-term comprehensive peace. Very hot weather in Igdir in Western Armenia recently melted snow from Mount Ararat due to the recent increase in air temperature on Mount Ararat, whose height is 5,137 meters. Snow continues to melt. Snow is expected to melt by the end of the August. It can be seen that the ice fields of Mount Ararat are noticeably melting from the heat. 
The Munzur Valley National Park, which includes the magnificent cultural landscape of Tuncheli, can be seen on a spot mistral landscapes of fog covering mountains and forests. The fog did not affect the visibility of roads of low altitudes, and its form and altitude covering the mountain and especially the forests of Munzur Valley National Park, creating a glamorous view thanks to this. Munzur Valley is one of the largest national parks in Western Armenia. Four theatre figures from Shushi founded a theatre and performed in Armenia and Artsakh with a kind of shadow play. At the same time, in order to take care of their social problems, they are engaged in beekeeping, which in addition to small business is psychological therapy. They lost their home, their place and their job, but they did not lose their faith and carefulness. They found the strength to start everything from scratch. After moving to Armenia, several theatrical figures from Shushi decided to continue their favourite business, but to do it not in one of the theatres, but to create their their own. So the House of Ferret has founded in Shushi received a second lab, but this time on wheels and a traveling theater. This story was created by four people, director Hart Papian, artist Artak Bogosyan, and actor Never Karabekyan and Gane Arushanyan. They made wooden dolls with their own hands and staged a performance of Shadow based on a work of Omanes Tumanyan, a drop of honey. The choice of the work has not been accidental. Tumanyan's drop of honey caused a great struggle, but in this performance, the bee finds a drop of hope. From from the ruins, which becomes the beginning of a new life. Armenian carpets of amazing beauty are created in ancient times, and as stories written on the carpet themselves are still preserved. Carpet weaving being one of the types of Armenian decorative and applied art is linked with other types of decorative and applied art of Armenians, continuing with the tradition of other types of national fine art. Armenian carpet making, which at the initial stage coincides the same extent with the texture from the point of view of the technique of execution, has gone a long way in a development from simple products woven on a frame of various shapes to be noted carpets that have become executive works of art. The preparation of carpet has become an integral part of Armenian culture. The Armenian culture and tradition have distinguished the Armenian people from other nations and the Armenian culture the Armenians are trying to preserve and pass on their children by all means because this is what preserves the spirits and strengths of our ancestors. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.